years of like watching anime i'm not i'm gonna be honest like i wasn't really so into like sports anime you know, you know they got the nfl they got the nba they got all that stuff going on like yeah it's dope but honestly it, it wasn't really headed for me like look i'm not gonna lie back in high school i used to play football and football yeah it played it was a big portion of my life like literally my day consisted of waking up playing football going to sleep thinking about football and just like having to continuous like put my thoughts around football and I honestly really fucking hated it luckily that trilogy of my life is completely over but we're not here about talking about me about football we're gonna be talking about this anime called Ahiru 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 no Sora it's an it's a basketball anime What's so interesting about this? Usually, okay, look, so there's like the black anime community and the white, look, I'm not trying to make it sound segregated and shit, but like, you know when the black people go and hype the fuck out of some shit off of Instagram Twitter, like, oh, this is new key. Cause you know, I'm not gonna lie, usually whenever you see anything related to anime and black people kind of reviewing it, bro, it's like, they talk about the, the main, mainstream anime like naruto dragon ball z and also like other things like uh let's see kimetetsu no yaiba aka demon slayer like stuff like that stuff that's kind of trending in the community not really the off-stream brands but this one this one anime kind of just got out of the bunch or or they just peak people's interest maybe because of low, low-key nba season again i don't know like i don't really keep up to date with stuff like this what's so interesting about ahiro no sora or why i think it's really interesting i love animes that have a twist it doesn't stick to like the main topics that everyone else has like you know i thought it was gonna be about you know like kokoro no basket like i didn't i never watched it i'm gonna be honest like it didn't seem interesting to me yeah okay they had those little glowing eyes when they go and, and pass the ball and stuff oh that's hot but it's like you know it wasn't really something that made me want to go like oh you know what i'm gonna stop everything stop all the anime i'm watching just to go watch this sports anime it, it just i just didn't care so let's just start off with the main protagonist it's about this little short kid and honestly the kid he's um really really short like honestly like abnormally short like kevin hart short like really short <laughs> so he he's short but honestly he doesn't he's no bitch like he literally just goes into altercations and fights and like and he comes head on with all this confidence and right if he keeps that confidence bro he's gonna have all the hosts because like literally what girls are looking for now is a guy with confidence so if you got confidence and you're short and Hey, you actually might get some put but hey if, if you're a tall guy and don't really know what the hell you're doing and has no really keen features that really separate you from the pack i'm sorry bro the short guy's gonna get the chick over you it, it's just it's just facts you kind of think that he's gonna be a character where he's gonna be pushed around no one really cares about him he's just like a background character who's kind of quiet and has a moderate interest into basketball like that's what i initially thought but coming into the first episode that's definitely not what i picked up what did i pick up from it like i picked up that this is an anime where it's basically a guy who goes to like a boonie school where he's like you know trying to be one of the best basketball players from a team that doesn't even want to play basketball these guys literally just use like the basketball facilities and the, the court and stuff just to go and like hang around and just like bum around and shit so when I saw that, I was like, okay, well, this is probably going to be some type of, like, heroic, oh, he goes and flips the, he goes and helps out everyone, and every everything's going to be all happy and dandy, all corny, but, you know, I like, I, I kind of do like those animes, I like stuff that makes me want to build off of the characters, the growth is what I look for in animes, if, like, if a, if a character grows, then you, you got my attention, but if he's just overly powered, I do like overpowered animes, I'm not gonna lie, but it's like, for stuff like this, I'd rather it be like, you're growing with the character, than the character just being completely overpowered, and you just don't really give a fuck, because you already know he's gonna beat the battle, you, there's not really anything that shows you like, oh, are they gonna win, or are they gonna lose, like, what's gonna happen, like, it's, you don't really have that tension, you don't have that, it's like, but with this one, even though the main character is that short kid, you can already tell that, yeah, he has skills, but his skills isn't enough for him to go and win the whole entire, like, um, basketball league or championships or whatever the fuck they got. You have to do this as a unit or a team. Like, you, if you do not have a team, then basically everyone gets dropped down and no nothing really happens. Like, you can't just be a one-man band and become, like, a whole entire, like, you know, 
amazing team. It just doesn't happen like that. What really happens is that you guys, through teamwork and dedication and time, like you see them grow and become the best team in Japan. That's what I love about this anime is that I don't know exactly what's gonna be going down. So I guess if I had to really think, like, like, like actually think about like this show, I, I really want to get invested into it. It's like, I don't like sports. I'm telling you 100%. Yeah, I'm black. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you should be liking football, whatever, all that shit. I don't like, I don't like sports. It's not my thing. But Diamond No Ace though, that's just hot. But that's for another video. But I like shows that are really, really interesting in a sense of building their characters. If you do not have good characters or also good plot, if you don't have any of those, you don't have me. Like, I'm gonna be honest. It's like, you know, you can have the most sexy animations ever, but if you don't really know what to do with those animations, it, it's definitely gonna drive down your story, 100%. But you know, most people just like the flashy fights from Dragon Ball Z. That's cool and all, but then over time, I'm not gonna lie, right when it got to Dragon Ball Z Super, it kind of went downhill for me because it kind of felt like the same things, the same stuff. Yeah, you got a new form, you got blue form. Oh my God, Ultra Instinct. <laughs> like, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah, he has Ultra Instinct, but then it's like, okay what's next like what's the next big thing like he beat me right now he's training with the god of destruction and all this stuff but it's not it's kind of the same plot nothing's really changing yeah goku died before yeah vegeta died before they came back to life it's the same cycle like honestly i feel as though for the show to even still be revived or still have something go on with it they gotta just kill off the characters and start something new start the new leaf like boruto i'm sorry boruto's still trash but they're starting to fix it with the whole thing that's going on with boruto right now well boruto went back into the past so I hear no Sora. Like, is it like something that you guys should watch? Definitely. Even if you don't even watch sports, you should still watch it. You're gonna enjoy it because the characters, it's what really drives the story. And I love shows like that. The characters have to drive the story in order for you to actually feel invested. So what what's a really big key fact in me like enjoying the, the show was because the characters made me feel like, you know what? I wanna see where this guy's gonna go. I wanna see if he actually wins. I wanna see if he actually loses. I don't know. I wanna see what happens next. Well, that's the driving fact. That's that's the question. Well, that's the statement. That's what I wanna know. If anything, should you invest your time into the show? A hundred percent. Do you feel, if you're not into sports anime, should you still go and actually take your time in watching the show? Yes, it's good. It's it's actually good. So like um it's on its sixth episode. I don't really want to I don't really want to spoil, but definitely I'm loving where they're going in a sense of pacing with the show. So if you guys feel like um oh is it just gonna be something where he just gets oh like overly powered and they just start winning and stuff like that over like uh, up to episode six. It's not that, but you might see, you might see something crazy. I, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil. Definitely go and check it out and give it a chance. It won't hurt. <laughs> it will. It literally won't hurt you. Coming from your favorite otaku, Caleb Sama, just give it three episodes. Give it three episodes and then come back to me with your <laughs> with your BS. Cause I'm pretty sure some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, this thing's trash. Why am I watching this? This is gross. Oh my God, I hate it. Like, you know, the, we got a lot of y'all out there who, who's on that vibe. <laughs> But like definitely give it three episodes and then you let me know and also hey write it down in the comments below if you guys actually enjoyed it or you hated it honestly that's it thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hey smash a huge like on the video if you guys actually want to see more of this and also shout out the we goes to this guy right here yo you're amazing my dude like i don't know if you understand but you writing down that comment in my last video is what inspired me to actually do this video today so thank you so much for actually commenting that to me it means a lot so guys if you guys actually comment it does really mean a lot to me so thank you guys so much for watching again and i'll see you guys in the next one Tonight.